All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to begin by giving all praises and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Kakudash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of the Great Millstone. Shalom to your brothers that are laboring and pushing this word in truth and sincerity and with charity. I'm the brother Abraham from the camp here in GMS Chicago. Come to do another quick lesson through the Holy Spirit, Lord willing that be edifying. <clears throat> And this video is just pretty much uh, um, on current events, you know. Uh, There's a lot going on in the world. If you're watching and paying attention, uh, which the prophets of the Lord are commanded to do. And will be uh, reporting on... All the major current events that are happening worldwide. Okay, because the scriptures speak of these things. Okay, uh, but the world is consumed in darkness, um, their own folly, whatever. They're in their own world and they don't desire to, to learn. They don't desire to repent okay um so that's why they will perish and that's why when it's too late you know they're they will perish okay um but all all these things happening at the moment um is is for a reason and the lord gave us signs okay um in order for us to measure the time, measure the time for what? For his return. Okay. Um, before his, re his return, there would be these certain events happening, right? Which we see, all right? According to 2nd, it's the ninth chapter, Matthew, the 24th chapter, the book of Revelations. Okay. All these things. Okay, which are happening uh, in real time before our very eyes. Okay, so what does all what does all this mean? Um, it means Esau's kingdom is done, and our kingdom is next. All right, plain and simple. All right. Uh, so I want to open up with the scripture here in Amos, the ninth chapter, and the eighth verse. It says, Behold, the eyes of the Lord God are upon the sinful kingdom, and I will destroy it from off the face of the earth, saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, saith the Lord. Right now, this is uh, speaking about Israel, okay, the Israelites in this verse. Um, and I'm applying it to Esau Edom's kingdom. Okay, and the reason I'm applying it to Esau's kingdom is because it's a sinful kingdom. It's a wicked kingdom. All right, and the Lord is not going to let Esau Edom go away unpunished. Okay, let's get Amos, I mean, not Amos, Nahum. One, let me start at verse two. It says, God is jealous and the Lord revenges. The Lord revenges and is furious. The Lord will take vengeance on his adversaries and he reserveth wrath for his enemies. Right? The Lord has enemies. Read Psalms the 83rd chapter. Right? And it gives you the list of the Lord's enemies beginning with Esau Edom. Alright? The Lord is slow to anger and great in power and will not at all acquit the wicked. Right? What does acquit mean? To be innocent. Alright? When you're not innocent. Right? You're not innocent, Esau, Edom. Alright, it says, The Lord had his way in the whirlwind and in the storm and in the clouds. And the clouds are the dust of his feet. Okay? So the Lord has his eyes on you. Okay? Um, Let's get... Let's 
Zechariah 2 and 8, For thus saith the Lord of hosts, After the glory hath he sent me unto the nations which spoiled you. For he that touches you, toucheth the apple of his eye. Alright, and you touch the apple of the Lord's eye, which is Israel. Okay. Um, which the scriptures say in Jeremiah the 6th chapter. That he likens Jerusalem to a comely and de delicate woman. All right. So imagine you beat the crap out of another man's wife, woman. Okay. And he finds out who you are and where you live. Okay. It says, jealousy is the rage of a man. All right. So you beat this woman up. In this case, it's Israel. All right. And the husband is the Lord. And the husband is coming for you, man. All right. It says, he will not spare in the day of vengeance. <laughs> All right. But that is exactly what you did. All right. And it says, he will not at all quit the wicked. You're not innocent. All right. You've been proven guilty. All right. We got the receipts from everything you did unto the Israelites. All right. And still has not, uh, you still have not been judged for your actions. Which, according to the scriptures, there's laws and actions. And judgments that have to happen uh, when you do certain things like what you did. Uh, the out of the many things that you've done was rob and kill, murder, steal and lie. All right, to get where you are, and who did you do that to? You did it to us. All right, so now it's time. For your demise now it's time for your downfall now it's time for your ruin so now that is exactly what we are seeing today at the moment okay um that is exactly what we are seeing Okay, so this is uh, Job, the 20th chapter, and the 4th verse. Knowest thou not this of old, since man was placed upon the earth, that the triumphing of the wicked is short, and the joy of the hypocrite but for a moment. Alright, so your glory, your triumphing, and your joy is just momentarily. All right, you had your time to shine, to rule, and to glory over us, and now it's our time, okay, plain and simple, All right, in the scriptures, in the book of Revelation, it talks about, um, Your rule was is only for a season, okay. And there's a time for everything under the heaven, just like it says in the book of Ecclesiastes. All right. So now it's time for you to fall. <laughs> Plain and simple. This is uh again in the book of Job, fourteen. And verse 5, seeing his days are determined, the number of his months are with thee. Thou hast appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. All right. So he has, his uh, days are numbered pretty much. And they're on the very last few digits of those numbers. Okay. Uh, his time is expiring. All right, 
is way past due. <laughs> okay. So now, uh, let's get Psalms, the 75th chapter, and the 5th verse. It says, Lift not up your horn on high. Well, let me start at verse 4. It says, I said unto the fools, Deal not foolishly, and to the wicked, Lift not up the horn. Lift not up your, your horn on high. Speak not with a stiff neck, right? Don't get cocky. Don't get proud. Don't get haughty. It says, for promotion cometh neither from the east nor from the west nor from the south. But God is the judge. He put it down one and set it up another. All right. So he said, chew up Esau, eat him. And you didn't regard that. Okay. Um, you got cocky. You got haughty. You got proud. All right. As if it was your own doing. No, it was the Lord. Okay. But now, it's, your, it's time for him to put you down through his son, Yahweh Shai, when he comes back, which is, time is very near. All right, all these signs in the heavens, all these prophecies coming to pass, prove just that, because it's, it's written. All right? Plain and simple, man, that eclipse that happened that day. Okay, um... Was just a sign and an omen for your downfall, for the end of days. All right, which we're in, man. The time is short. All right. So, to the Israelites, repent. To the wicked, your time is up, man. All right. So, I'm going to go ahead and end it there, Lord. In this video, was edifying as always. All honor, glory, praises. Goes to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakaf, Kedash, Double Honor, to the Elders and Apostles of the Great Millstone. And until the next time, Shalom.